It makes for a great story. Sometime on a stormy night in 1845, a soaking wet medicine man knocked on the door of the Batini Gut family in Hyderabad, India. He was given shelter for the night, and in gratitude, he gave the man of the house his secret cure for respiratory diseases. That cure has been passed down through the years, and every June, members of the Gut family treat thousands of people who gather from all over India to get this, swallow a small live fish, known as the snakehead murel, with some yellow paste concocted of unknown herbs stuffed in its mouth. The wriggling fish are said to treat asthma by depositing their load of herbs on the way down. Somewhat of a curious explanation, given that asthma is a disease of the lungs, not the digestive tract. The fish, of course, slide down the esophagus, not the trachea. Well, there's no claim made for an instant cure. The treatment has to be administered three years in a row, each time followed by 45 days of a strict diet based on lamb, rice, white sugar, dried mango, spinach, and clarified butter. Fried foods are not allowed. Could there be anything to this bizarre regimen? Since no attempt has ever been made to follow the fish swallowers, there's no clinical evidence, pro or con. As far as the composition of the formula goes, the family maintains that it must abide by the promise given to the holy man not to reveal it. The remedy would lose its effectiveness if commercialized, they maintain. Well, this argument does not sit well with conventional physicians and rationalist organizations in India who claim that the Batini regimen has no scientific rationale and may actually distract patients from effective treatments. They petition the government to at least check whether the formula contains any potentially harmful ingredients. None were found and the Indian High Court concluded that although the fish therapy likely had no medicinal value, it could not interfere with matters of faith. And so the wacky treatment, known as fish prasadam, continues. Without a careful analysis of what the formula contains, it would be unscientific to dismiss any potential for helping with asthma. After all, until the advent of bronchodilators and steroids, the mainstays of current therapy, Asthmatics look to Ma Wang, an ancient Chinese herbal therapy, and uh, that afforded some relief. Ma Wang may well be the oldest medicine in continuous use, with teas brewed from the stem of the ephedra seneca plant dating back some 5,000 years. The active ingredient, ephedrine, was finally isolated in the 1880s and was eventually shown to be chemically similar to adrenaline the naturally occurring hormones secreted by the adrenal glands under times of stress when dilation of the bronchial tubes helps to increase the intake of oxygen. Ephedrine also speeds up metabolism and appeared in numerous dietary weight loss supplements when the obesity epidemic went into full swing in the 1990s. Eventually, these supplements were linked to heart attacks, strokes, and seizures, and their sale was banned. Ephedrine, in small doses, is still available as an asthma treatment. And that for today is our fishy cup of joe.